This is going to be the build for the mothership. This is the way it comes from the factory. Two rolls of tape. You get uh, four carbon spars, a set of uh, elevons, and a package of, of miscellaneous hardware. The additional hardware is some uh, chloroplast board that's used to make the winglets, push rods, and clevises and a set of horns and two pieces to help join the two carbon fiber rods. One of the things I do when I get ready to do a project that requires an epoxy is I cut some paper towels up and pour alcohol in here, make a bunch of uh, alcohol swabs and have that available for cleanup. The wings come in the beds that they were cut out of. These were hot wire cut. The excess foam from the cutting is left on the tops and bottoms. And I've already taped the bottoms together, but I left the tops open so that it can be folded back and expose the wing cores. This is the wing cores that are It's the left wing. The cores are in here with the tops down. And you can see there's a, uh, the bed is here. The bed is pretty important because it helps keep everything aligned and straight as the assembly goes together. used uh, strap and tape to attach the bottoms together. Which actually that's the top. But and this allows me to put the cord right down in the bed. perfectly and stay straight. The things that I did, um, so I'm going to do the build on an eight foot table. That way I have full support for the full length of the airplane and it should uh, make sure everything is again helping to build straight. I have a couple of very heavy weights that were uh, made for me by a friend and I'll be using these to help make sure that everything stays straight when I put the, the uh, spars and that kind of thing in, make sure everything's supported. And I also have a piece of hardwood to put over the top of this, try to make everything as flat and straight as I can. My first step is going to be to glue, glue these two wing halves together. And I'm going to put these together with epoxy and lay them down into the foam beds and let them sit there. So what I'm really concerned with is making sure the edges are, are straight, the wing cores are together, and everything is flat with the bed. I want to make sure I don't get any epoxy on the beds themselves. So I'm going to be laying some wax paper. This wax paper then is going to help me keep the, the glue from getting onto the beds and gluing the wings to the beds. And what I'll do now is I'm going to mix up some epoxy, coat this inside edge, and then put these two together and then weight them. Okay, the seam for the left and right wings are being joined now. I've uh, mixed up 30 minute uh, epoxy and that's what's been put on in here and I'll let you take a look at the seams. I have the seams uh, really close together and this is laying in the beds that uh, the airplane came in. I also have these weights on here to help keep things from shifting. 
Another thing that uh, I noticed when I was putting this together is the point of the airplane kept wanting to separate. It's kind of thin up there. So I shoved a couple of skewers in to cross pin it and then I put a rubber band on the end of the skewers and that's holding that closed uh, while the glue's curing and setting. You'll also notice that the texture of the foam is very, very rough. So if you want to smooth that off some in order to make it maybe a little more aerodynamic, uh, that might be a good idea. Um, there's also the groove. This groove is uh, on the top and the bottom in both wings and there is a carbon fiber tube that goes in there and then they've given us a steel joiner that goes in here at the point and comes down the other side. Okay, the center joint is still curing. I used 30 minute epoxy, so it's gonna let it sit here for a while. The skewers that I installed in the front uh, obviously were epoxied in, so they actually stay in place. But as you can see, what I've done is uh, just pressed the foam in a little bit, then clipped the skewers off, and they're now beneath the, the surface of the foam, so they won't pose any problem. And they actually uh, will give a little bit more uh, strength to this front area because they're going to go from this area in this way and from this area in this way and give it a little more strength in holding the tip together. This does uh, need to cure for a little while so I'm going to leave it before I start trying to handle it and get everything uh, crooked. You can see that what I've done is lined up the wing tips in their bed and then placed one of these heavy weights on it. And I've done the same thing in the far end. That's lined up in the bed and then one of those heavy weights is on there. And up in the front, you can tell that the two points are coming together exactly where the uh, two foam beds come together. So everything should be square and uh, laying down in the beds, it should be flat and straight. Okay, I put a uh, long steel rule in the groove for the strut on the bottom and you can see that uh, as I go along here it's very straight checking the left side 